Now there's no mistaking it, in schools you're very much driven to be someone who is aiming for that nine to five job. The education path basically is laid out the majority of the time as in you go to school, you get an education, you go to university and you enter mainstream work. However, if you're watching my channel, no doubt you want to do things a little bit differently and you might have understood the concept called financial independence. This means we can actually create passive income, so income you're not exchanging your time for or aka a day job, you can actually create income that could support your life. Now in this video in particular, I'm going to share with you the calculations and the maths that basically allows you to retire with roughly about £20,000 tax-free income a year. And the great thing is you could actually make it happen in eight years. So incredibly quickly, if you're willing to put in the time, the focus, and it will require you investing some money. Hi there, welcome back to the Mama Fur Fur channel. My name is Jennifer. Now, one of the most popular topics that I always love to dive into is financial freedom. And the reason is that it will catch anyone's attention when you actually explain they don't have to work their nine to five job or they can actually have choice in their life over what they can do. You could actually work your day job like I do, but also have multiple incomes in the background. And one key concept I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna share the maths, I'm gonna share the strategy that would make it possible Possible, actually to have a fairly good income, £20,000 every single year indefinitely once you put in about eight years effort concentrating on investments. I'm actually going to show you how you make that happen. Now it's not a pipeline dream, I'm not trying to sell you some fancy you know, multi-level marketing company or anything like that, I'm simply going to share with you the probability maths that is used for actually investing in the stock market and the type of returns you could get. Now how we facilitate that is through an investment ISA and I'm going to deep dive if you've never heard of that account before I'm going to deep dive on how we can use that as a tax break effectively it's a way to invest save our money where we don't pay tax in and we don't pay tax to withdrawal so that's how you're going to create that magic income for yourself now it's sad to say but there's basically three concepts about money that nobody is teaching in schools are certainly very rarely mentioned my sister's a maths teacher so first-hand knowledge I know to some degree what's taught in UK schools. They don't teach the concept of passive income at all. Nowhere that I could find was this concept about not exchanging your time mentioned. Now, it was very famously introduced by of course the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. Essentially he wanted you, Robert wanted you to invest in like the housing market and ways to make passive income but you can actually translate that to other investments too. So they don't actually teach you about passive income. They don't teach you about compound interest or compounding your efforts and slowly but surely how small efforts, small amounts of saving over long periods of time, you can add accelerators to that depending on the rate of return that you're getting with the vehicle you're actually saving with. So for example, with investments, you might hear quoted maybe six to 8% year on year growth, depending of course how risky and what you're actually investing in, but that's that accelerator power on your money thanks to compound interest and time. Now they also fail to teach that money is simply a tool. We're taught actually that money is the goal when actually it should be the lifestyle that you want to create. Money is just one way to make it happen. I actually believe that everyone's got the resources within themselves regardless of having money or not to have their dream life and of course if that inspires you to look a little bit further into success mindset please do stick around on this channel maybe even hit subscribe which you can do right now on this button so that you can deep dive into learning how to make that dream life happen for you using money simply as a tool to fund it. Now when I first learned about compound interest, stock market and actually ways to save and amplify my money. It was a total light bulb moment. We were in quite a lot of debt then and I simply wanted a way to do things better. Now it was through learning about the stock market and compound interest as part of an overall money strategy. I didn't even realise that having a pension was actually investing in the stock market, which it is. If you've got private pensions, they're very likely investing in the stock market with your money. And that moment I decided that I wanted to help as many 
many people learn about how to use these vehicles of investment as possible through this YouTube channel, but also implement it completely in my own life. And that is what we do as a family up here in Glasgow as well. So everything I'm teaching you, we are practicing in our own life. Now, if you do not want to retire when you're 65, that actually you want to retire on your terms, today's video is extremely important. Although I'm going to give you the concept of how to retire with 20,000 pounds roughly income a year within eight years, you can apply this to whenever you want to retire. You can also apply it depending on the amount you want to invest every single month. So keep that in mind. This is completely flexible. I'm just giving you perhaps the ideal scenario of making it happen. And the extra benefit of it being tax free, so you don't even have to pay income tax if you use this particular savings account that I'm going to break down for you. So the first of all, I'll explain the basic concepts. So we're going to use the stock market to invest, to get this lump sum of money that effectively that will give us £20,000 at least interest every single year. So basically every year we will have a lump sum, we will be able to withdraw that £20,000 interest that's added on as growth, then the next year it will hopefully have top back up. Now the reason that we do this is we're going to assume a couple of variables, we're going to assume that we're going to really maximise the amount that we can invest in this vehicle in an investment ISA, which is basically a wrapper, it's a tax free wrapper, very similar to when you're using a pension as a kind of wrapper for your money later on in life. You invest in an investment ISA account and then you've already paid tax before you actually invest into it. So it comes out of your net salary. You're in control of how much goes in. Then when you use that ISA, in this case it's an investment ISA, so using the stock market, you then don't have to pay tax on any capital gains, on any growth, or even when you withdraw from it. And that's the magic area. We've already paid tax before we actually deposit in. And so using this particular wrapper of an ISA, we don't then have to actually pay tax when we're taking anything out of it as an income. And that includes when there's growth there or perhaps growth in your stock market choices or anything at all. Now it also includes when you're getting dividend payments. So we've got double benefit here. You could also have growth in your portfolio and even extra payments through dividends depending on what you choose in your investment ISA. Now an investment ISA is a flavour of ISA and every single person in the UK who's over the age of 18 has £20,000 allocation to deposit every single year in whatever flavours of ISA you have. So you can have multiple ISAs but no more than £20,000 total deposited in. Now that doesn't include then the gains you receive on those investments. So you can actually have maybe it's grown in the space of a year to £25,000 or £30,000. It doesn't matter. It's all about the limit of actual money you're putting in regardless of how much it grows by. Now if you are younger than 18 watching or you've got children, you actually have access to junior investment ISAs. So if you're below 18 right now, an adult can open up an investment account for you, a junior ISA, and you can actually deposit nine thousand pounds per year in the same flavor so it's tax free on the way in and tax free on the way out that means though that it's locked in till your child's 18 so you can't get access any sooner but when your child is 18 that then transfers into an investment ISA an adult account or a cash ISA so they could effectively withdraw all the money if they want so if you're somebody who's thinking about your future for your children as well think of what you could do what you could create in the background for them by investing also in this tax free method. So before we jump ahead, I'm going to break down the maths, show you on the computer how compound interest, a couple of metrics, will allow us to get to that £20,000 income a year using the stock market. A couple of different ways to do that and also how we can actually achieve it the quickest way possible within eight years. So that's really the mindset I want to get you into. When is this possible and how can we make it happen? I'm also going to explain to you a couple of choices you would look for in terms of what you actually want to invest in, some of the things to be mindful of. It's not personal finance advice though, so by all means, whatever I suggest, go and do your research before you actually invest in them. And then finally, I'm going to explain why reinvesting any dividends or profits you make until you're ready to retire, until you're ready to actually withdraw money from 
from it is key in this scenario. So let's go straight to the computer and I'm going to show you the maths to make it happen. So we are over at my PC that you can just see right here and we're on the calculator site. So this is my favourite compound interest calculator that I always use when I'm doing demos. You can find it at the calculator site.com and this is all you need to basically show the maths that allow you to actually get £28,000 approximately every single year as an income that you can withdraw tax free when you use an investment ISA and using the calculations the maximum the quickest way possible is likely that you will get there is within eight years so let me actually show you the maths and how we actually play with it to then base it on what you want to achieve and how quickly you want to retire so there's a couple of factors in play in this it's going to definitely depend on what's our initial value that we're starting with and in our scenario I want to go from ground zero and I want to achieve £20,000 as an income using my investment ISA so we'll have that as zero there. The interest rate we're going to use is 9.8%. Now I'm going to explain why I'm using that as an average. I know it's high. That's because we've seen roughly between 8 and 10% as a yearly average in the S&P 500 index fund for the past 90 years. Now that meant some years it was positive a lot more, some years it was negative, but the average over the past 90 years has been 9.8%. So we're going to go with that as the best case scenario here. Now the calculation period I'm going to set is 10 years because I know I've worked this in the background, it's going to take us about 8 years to get there, but let me show you and prove to you why. The compound interest is going to compound yearly. So that's every year we'll get 9.8% approximately year on year growth in our investments. Now here is the regular monthly amount. So if you're someone using an investment ISA, this is where you kind of estimate what it could be worth in let's say 10, 15, 20 years down the line. With an investment ISA, I'm going to assume this is the only ISA you have and you can maximise it for £20,000 a year. Now that means it's roughly about £1,667 we're putting in every single month. So I'm going to put that value in there. So when I hit calculate, then the magic happens. And you will see that the projection at 10 years, if we're reading this, the balance, the total amount will be worth over £332,000. But look at some of the key things as well. You'll see the total deposits you and I have put in if we max out the £20,000 a year is then obviously 200 k We've put in 200 k but we've got an extra 132000 on top growth there. Now that's also not including if these actual funds we're investing in had dividend payments that would be tax-free money coming into your fund as well on top. This is purely a growth portfolio. Now you will see a couple of things. What the key thing is in here is the year interest. How much approximately interest growth is your fund receiving that year based on its size? And this is where reinvesting, keeping topping up, leaving it to go is key because the size of your portfolio keeps growing. So then the percentage, the amount you receive receive equally keeps growing and so as you will see it quickly builds up to then that magic amount of £20,000 as a growth for that year so that meant the total portfolio was nearly at 200k so then the interest payment approximately would be 20k now I'm saying payment I really mean the growth size of your investments remember there's only two days that matter in investment ISAs and when you have investments the day you buy and the day you sell so if you're investing that's where actually you would hit that point and you'd say, right, okay, I could potentially be drawing out £20,000 that I've made in growth or then less than that. And so ideally, we do want to be leaving investments at least five, even close to 10 years, so that you've got that fluctuation appearing from actually what's happening in the stock market and you can kind of smooth it out. So that is the math as simple as how you could actually retire using an investment ISA within eight years. If you were to see 9.8% yearly average growth using an index, using some low cost tracker that you particularly enjoy or a combination, the maths is there. You could have income that is £20,000 and you could be withdrawing that and then it would just simply keep hopefully topping back up. So I would withdraw £20,000 in income and then go back to just 200 k and then that would then re-top up again. The same amount increased by 20000 Now obviously the longer you leave it and you can see quite dramatically this could keep going up and up and up in size which is incredible and great if you're also using inflation and thinking about that. 
Now, obviously, inflation depends totally if we're in a recession or anything that's going on. But you can see very quickly, if you really maximise your investment ISA allocation, you could be making some serious money in your investment portfolio if we were able to see these standard rates are about eight or nine percent year on year average. So I hear you in the comments already. Let's flip it down and say, right, okay, Jennifer, let's assume what most financial advisors say and say like a five or a four percent year on year growth instead. Okay, so I'm going to increase the time period because I guarantee it's going to take us longer because our interest rate, our growth is going to be smaller. So how long until I can have 20k then income the same way? So if you keep going down, you will see that if we use a 5% year in year growth as the average, it's going to take you 15 years. So we're effectively doubling the amount of time, but still we're getting there even in worst case scenario. So even if you're someone thinking, you know, oh, Jennifer, you know, don't use 10% year in year growth, 9.8, use something a bit more realistic. Okay, let's think about 5% then. That also allows for inflation in there for a little bit of normalization. And you can see with the maths, you could be looking at a 20 20k income within five years hopefully that you could keep withdrawing and it would keep topping up now obviously you might even see nine ten percent and that means this portfolio is going to be much bigger so there could be even more wiggle room for you but the great thing is as i keep emphasizing if you use an investment isa you have immediate access to it so it's not the same as a pension you also have the option to let it grow and especially important you don't pay tax when you withdraw there's no capital gains and there's no dividend or any form of income tax on it because cause you've saved an investment ISA. Okay, so I've shown you the maths. I've shown you how it's possible. Couple of things I know you're probably screaming at me. Okay, Jennifer, how do we achieve those levels of rate of return? So you might have seen me quote, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent Okay, and really it goes down to exactly what you're picking. In the stock market, we have the normalized kind of best rate is described as what the S&P 500 is doing. So that is an index fund. An index fund basically means a league table of the top performers and in this case, it's the top performing 500 companies in the US. Why we tend to employ that as the gold standard of index funds and investing is because generally speaking, very few mutual funds or bonds or anything like that will beat the returns of that general market index. The S&P 500 is seen as one of the strongest performers globally. It is the biggest stock exchange in the world, outside of some other smaller ones in London and abroad. But tends to be the US drives a lot of the global performance. Not always the case, but we certainly use that as somewhat of the standard returns we can expect. And the S&P 500 in the past 90 years saw an average of 9.8% year on year growth. Now it's average. That means it's not every single year guaranteed. It means some years there was plus 15, some years like this year right now, there's probably plus 40, some years there was minus 25. But it's all about the magic of compound interest and time. The longer you leave it, the smoother you will find your rate of return as in the average. Okay, so if I only leave something in five years, of course, the moment it goes up and down, it's going to be quite broad and quite reflective in my returns. I may be going to see only plus 4% because one year it was about plus 15 and then it was minus 15 at the next. Okay, it really depends on how long you're leaving it. The longer you leave it, the better it will be for actually smoothing out an average for you. Now, nobody has a crystal ball and obviously we use previous Previous averages as an estimate of what we think it's going to get. Nobody could have predicted, you know, COVID-19 hitting the stock market. People who bought in in March 2020 actually making plus 40, plus 50, crazy amounts because of the rock bottom prices. However, it's all about doing the best estimate we can. And today's video, I'm not saying that it's absolute guaranteed that in eight years you will hit these amounts. What I'm hoping is it's to inspire you on what's truly possible. So if you take it as any guidance, this is what you could achieve, a little bit of focus and a little bit of concentration on making an investment and making a passive income maybe 10, 15 years down the line for you. Now another example to consider would be perhaps using the FTSE 100 as the index you might want to invest in or use as your average. So the FTSE 100 is the top 100 UK based companies. It's somewhat of an underdog compared to the S&P 500 but we've actually seen returns on average 
average of the past 10 to 15 years of between 6.8, even up to 8.5% as the average. Some years it was obviously higher than that and some years was slightly lower. But that is still a good performing index if you wanted to consider some of the numbers that we've talked about in this example. My best advice for you would actually be using combinations that give you a global spread. That way I'm diversifying, not just companies in the US or the UK. I've also got things like the developed world. I've got some China in there. I've got a real nice spread globally of what's happening so that then overall I'm not relying on one economy to pull me up or pull me down. I would recommend also likewise focus on low cost index funds to build the backbone of your portfolio. Think about ways to minimize money going out the door to investment platforms or investment charges. You've got to look at the fine print. How much is that fund costing you to invest in? And every year you want to really be keeping that well below 1%, if not below 0.8% in total charges, because that's the investment platform making money from you. And I want you to be making money from your investments, not necessarily keeping a business going in the background. Now, as I said, why is reinvesting your dividends or any growth that you're making on your portfolio so critical. So in the example on the computer, you will have seen that basically every single year, that nine, 10% that was being added on was then reused to generate even more money. So eventually when eight years passed, we then had a huge amount of money that was not just our deposits, but also the interest and the interest on top of that interest, and that's compounding. So here's an example for you. If you'd invested in the FTSE 100 index with 10,000 pounds, back in 1986. So I was a little bit, I was a little bit smaller back then, a couple of years old. If you deposited £10,000, if you had simply withdrawn every time there was a growth or a dividend payment on that amount, the total amount then up to present day in 2020 would have been roughly about £54,000. So it still had grown quite a lot. It's, you know, five times the amount that you'd actually put in, but certainly nowhere near what it could have been. If on the other hand, you had kept reinvesting every time you got a dividend payment, every time there was growth, you just didn't touch it at all, that initial 10% would now now today be worth £194,000. So that's based on the return that the FTSE 100 has seen for the past 26 years. That is somewhat, you know, 10 times in your number is incredible. And that's the difference. Every time you get a dividend payment and you're not ready to use the money, keep reinvesting it if you can. That way you're allowing even more money and the money your money is making to then make more money when you actually need those lump sums. So what are the key takeaways from today's video? I want to really emphasize that anything is possible when you have the right goal and the right mindset. So with the stock market, of course, all these numbers are completely based on what the past performance has been, but we can use it as a way to somewhat predict what we believe it's going to do in future, completely dependent on your risk tolerance tolerance, what you're investing in, but the principles are still there based on using compound interest and time. I want you to build incomes in your life that allow you to choose exactly what you want to do with your time. I want you to have opportunities, your freedom, and then have a lot of choice in life. I don't want you to be stuck in a nine to five job if you don't want to be. And hopefully today's video showing you the principles that mean if you were to max out that investment ISA of £20,000 per year deposited per person, you could very easily have between eight and nine years down the line an income that matches about £20,000 or in some cases perhaps even more. Now obviously it's based on what the stock market will return but that is the power of investing your money in a vehicle that is going to multiply completely based on what the companies will perform back to you. I get that there's obviously risk there but this is possible and that is how people are making their wealth. It's something that's not taught in schools but hopefully today Today's video has allowed you that insight. Now, if you're unsure about how to maybe open an investment ISA, I personally use Vanguard for mine. I've been using them for many years. I love them. Low cost, very simple. I have a couple of videos on my channel that you can go and check out that do talk about actually how to open an investment ISA, I teach you step by step. It's basically like opening a bank account that you commit to every single month, you're going to put a lump sum in. So go and check out those videos, have a little binge,
binge watch on my channel as well about anything to do with the stock market, investing, get your knowledge really up as far as you can before you make your first investment. As always, I would love if you give this video a thumbs up, allow somebody else to find it in the algorithm. And I would really love if you stumbled upon this video, why not hit subscribe? Join us on this journey. I am really appreciative of everyone who watched my content. So why not join us and deepen your knowledge of money and your finances in the UK. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.